We have told them what to do and what not to do to manage life here in town, in the city. We have told them to share the problems they have with their colleagues and not to die with a problem singly. We have also told them about HIV and AIDS, that it is a reality and up to now there is no cure for it. You may take some medicine but it only may prolong your life for a few days but then at the end of the day you will go home. Not the way you, you came, you will go home in a slightly different suitcase called a coffin. Let me start by congratulating you for the hard work that has earned you a place uh, to this prestigious university in Eastern Central Africa. The university has been recently ranked number seven in Africa and number one in Sub-Saharan Africa. So you come to a university that is well branded, that is warm, that has taken a place in the global arena. First and foremost, the value, our core value of hard work and excellence. This is the pillar and the gold standard of the University of Nairobi. We have heard it before, we have it now, we shall have it forever. May this be ingrained in your minds now and as you stay here at the University of Nairobi. And we do this at individual level and collective level. That's why we admit the best of you, you are the best of this country. We receive you here at the best university in Sub-Saharan Africa. So we do it individually as we come, but collectively as a university. I look forward to your working very hard, nothing else other than hard work, so that you may be great in a great university. The university has enough resources to empower you, to transform you, and to build you, to be great, to be honorable, and to give you, to serve society with distinction. I urge you never, ever, even to imagine skipping your classes because you think that that is fashionable or something out, out there is more attractive. That judgment will not lead you well. So take a position that you are here to study, you are here to experience, you are here to grow and be molded into global citizens. Be careful, particularly about alcohol and drug abuse. We have noted that this is taking away a good number of our students who like this cohort to be particularly careful. And I will urge those responsible for this docket to help this batch of students to keep away from this menace. And I caution you not to even think of cheating in exams in this university. Do not even dare, because as it has been said, you will, you shall be sent home. You must never cheat, deceive, because we want to build a Kenyan society of people that have integrity and earn that which they claim to have. So that by the time you complete your studies here, you walk away, you walk out with your heads high because you deserve the degree that you have gotten. So there you are, my dear students. You are called hard work and integrity. Is our core value here. At the same time, we are also citizens of this country and we are bound by the law of the land. Certain times we witness criminal activities from some of us, for some students. This is a vice that you must keep a big distance from. Stealing, assault, rape, and such like extremely obnoxious behavior shall not be entertained in the University of Nairobi. The long arm of the law will catch up with you and the university will 
nor stand on the way of the long arm of the law. Within our own rules as a university and within the country as good citizens. No, now grow up intellectually and within a peaceful spirit so that you can be able to become great leaders. So you choose to work hard and be disciplined and the world of endless opportunities will unfold before you uh, as you live here in the university. Indeed, you can be somebody you want to be. And you can also choose that person that you want to be. And anything that you want to be while at the university. The boss of one Nobel laureate, Professor Wangari Madai, our own, I want to ask you to imagine and work hard, be creative and innovative, so that we have the next one probably from this cohort. It can be done, and it could be you to own our country and our university and your generation in this manner. The university therefore encourages students to be creative and innovative. I ask you to always strive to challenge yourself so that you solve your own problems and indeed, even more importantly, the problems of other people. Recently, our students from the School of Arts and Design created a design that was bought by the Butter Shoe Company. When you are here, you can create innovations. You can sell them, you can commercialize them. You can become entrepreneurs when you are in this university. That is the University of Nairobi. But here at the university, our master is one, irrespective of the religious backgrounds that we follow. Our master is academic excellence. Humility is an attribute that we will ask you to pursue. True education makes us humble. Humility and good character will open doors, many doors for you, and take you where brilliance alone cannot take you. But I also want that brilliance from all my students. And forever shall be politically neutral. The university shall be and will remain politically neutral in order to engender freedom of thought culture of tolerance and appreciation of our national diversity and rich heritage. Of the extreme ideologies, including terrorism. And so we must be careful. We must be careful to keep secure and safe. We have an active program on security and safety of students wherever they are. And as you leave this hallowed great court, my commission to you is that you follow your dreams. And please do not chase other people's dreams. Make your choices, the choices that will make you happy. And choose to work hard, tear the script, chart your own course, and discover new shores for yourself. I've said over and over again that you, my dear students, you have achieved. You must never settle for less than what you deserve. And we have said that you are neither sons or daughters of a lesser God. But in general, I think you are not going to die. It's only that it's a success which you will enjoy after we finish from here. And we appreciate humanity and so forth.